So we're just waiting for the bus to head back to Stromness for the final time. Yeah, we're just uh, in the visitor centre where the bus stop is and uh, yeah, there's so much stuff that you can do. I think I'm officially sold. Summer or maybe maybe spring, late spring is the best time to come. There's boat tours. I know the nature's meant to be a lot more alive at that time of year. Maybe we'll come back and we'll do a summer version. But yeah, that's us for now. 15 minute wait and we'll say bye to Kirkwall. We're in the waiting room for the ferry. Yeah, we've arrived really early because we got our big bags. We didn't have anywhere to, to stop and relax. But yeah, three hours until check-in, about four hours until we set off, which is a perfect time to do a bit of work. So we're just gonna relax here for a bit. So we checked in, got the tickets. The wind is still howling through. A bit worried. Let's see how it goes. a few hours of waiting. We're boarding. The weather hasn't let up yet, but we're not gonna let that stop us. Not many people going from here. When we went from Aberdeen and Lowick, there was a lot more people traveling. Literally only a couple of people waiting in the waiting room this time. Anyway, en route to the mainland. So the sea condition should be worse than last time. And that was pretty bad. So yeah, luckily it's only less than two hours. Let's hope it goes well. So the ship's really different this time. Seems like it's the opposite way around. We found the restaurant, but now we're just heading into the bar. Yeah, it's really nice, really nice lounge. I think it's nicer than the other one actually that we was in. So this ferry's taking us to the mainland. I think it was called the Hamnavo. It goes between Stromness and a town called Scrabster. Then once we get to Scrabster, we'll have to get a taxi to another town, Tur Turso, I think, Turso. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. And then yeah, it's one night in Turso, just in a hotel, because we're obviously we're getting there a bit later. And then we're gonna get the train down to Inverness. And yeah, we've got a few days in Inverness. We, we've passed through there before, but yeah, there should be quite a lot to see there. So yeah, here we go, setting off now. Our captain said that the swirl from this morning has died down a little bit, fingers crossed. So it looks like we're nearly there. Just coming into port, no green faces this time. Probably the best crossing so far. So yeah, we're gonna get our stuff together and head to Terso and head to Thurso. I don't know how to pronounce it, Thurso. Welcome to Scrapstar. It's just as cold, but yeah, that was super easy. Much, much easier than the other two that we've done. So we're just gonna get out of here, jump in a taxi and head to our hotel. It's still quite early, so all good. So as usual, the ferry docks are outside the town, so we just need to book a, a taxi again. So not so easy to book a taxi in a Scrabster ferry terminal. They give us uh, four or five different numbers for taxi companies, but none of them picked up. One of them wanted us to download an app, which we did, it didn't work. And in the end, we were able to find another company that is sending a taxi out in 20 minutes. So a member of the staff just came and said that they're gonna switch off the lights at the port when the ferry leaves. So yeah, if we get stuck here, I mean, this place is really not made for tourist off season. And there go the last people from the port. It's just me and Marty on our own at the docks at Scrabster. Let's hope this taxi turns up or we've got a long walk ahead of us. I mean, this is a little crazy, but come on, how many times do you get to have a whole ferry terminal for yourself? There's no one here. <laughs> Even the dock's gone. The dock's gone. The boat's gone. Yeah, the dock is still here. It's the only thing that stays here. Yeah, other than us. Great. Switched off all the light other than the emergency light. and But luckily, a car is coming. Hope he's our taxi. So nope, there wasn't our taxi, we're left in the dark once again. But really nice people, they ask if we were lost. We, we look pretty lost. <laughs> oh God, look at the darkness. We made it. We didn't get kidnapped from the empty ferry port. And we're in, lovely place. Basic, but functional. Just how we like it. Very happy. 
So we're gonna head down and get some food. Tonight's gonna be a quiet night. We're not gonna go out and explore. So tomorrow, big journey, back on the trains, heading towards Inverness. So we'll pick this up tomorrow morning as we head down to the station, get our tickets towards Inverness. So we're up and out early this morning to get the train. This is about four hours from here to Inverness. And yeah, the next train is gonna be like half 12. No, I think after actually. Yeah, like past one in the afternoon. So we're gonna lose the whole day if we get the later train. So yeah, we've got about half hour to go till this train. Hopefully it's not too packed. I'm hoping it's not the commuter train, but we'll soon find out. say that didn't feel like four hours at all I mean I was editing videos but the views outside as well were just incredible it's you know when it's that stunning and you're busy as well it goes in a second it felt like half an hour we're here now let's find our hotel might be gray but it's certainly not as cold here as where we've been I can take gray gray is not too bad I think we found the hotel even if we've we're entering from the loading bay because we got a bit lost but yeah right next to a big church so that's cool and right on the river let's see if we can get inside very nice <laughs> so I know they say don't go in the first place you see but there's a really nice craft owl and pizza place on the other side of the road to our hotel so we couldn't resist it we're gonna get a bit of food here and a couple of beers wow Apple and blue cheese pizza and real pale ales. What more could a man want? This looks amazing. Let's have a go. Delicious. An Italian eating pizza in Inverness. So it's our first full day exploring Inverness today. We had a quiet evening last night. But yeah, the weather's glorious. We've been gifted sun. And what a city. The small part we have explored already is fantastic. Loads of churches, there's a castle, loads of places to eat and drink. It's alive. It's very different coming from Orkney to a big city like this. So yeah, we're gonna have our first walk around, see what there is to see. Let's see what Inverness has got to offer. Well, we found the route up to the castle, but it looks like we're being stopped again. Renovations, off season closures that's okay it's a big city we've seen a few really nice churches and cathedrals so we'll have a wonder and see what else there is to see so yeah back down to the river heading towards st andrew cathedral hopefully that one is open okay correction St Andrews is on the other side of the river, but there's an amazing church here as well. I mean, this is church number, I don't know, like six, seven, just in this area. I don't think I've ever seen a city with more churches all, uh, all in the same area. So far, so good. What I will say about Inverness so far is the center of the city is uh, its like any other city. It's not massive, but better if anything. Um, and you've got everything you could want. But we've just walked literally 10 minutes up the river and there's stunning nature, there's hills, there's ancient cathedrals. I'd say it's highly recommended. So we're crossing back. Ooh, this bridge is really wobble. Oh my God. Uh, yeah, my God. This is really wobbling. So yeah, crossing back to the other side of the river, going to check out St Andrews. 
and then uh, taking a little walk in the center of town. Another city, another cathedral. Let's go and check it out. What an amazing town in Verness. Really pretty, highly recommended. So yeah, we're not quite done with our exploration, so make sure you subscribe to don't miss any of our other videos. And tomorrow we're gonna be checking out the rest of the town in a pretty interesting and different way.